guys, so I'm so excited for today's tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to do four different types of heatless curls. So let's get to it. So my first method is through pin curls. So I started off by sectioning my hair down to my ear on both sides and then I dampened my hair so that it was about 85% dry. Next you want to take a section of hair as big or as small as you want and we're just going to wrap the ends around our fingers. I just wrap them around two fingers and then you want to roll it upwards away from your face and pin it in place. Again, I'm going to take a section behind this and I'm going to roll it upwards away from my face. I repeat this until I reached my part line and then on the bottom section I did the same thing except I wrapped the hair underwards towards my face. So once more you want to just wrap the hair underwards on the bottom section and roll it towards your face. I then repeated this on the opposite side. On the top section I rolled my hair upwards away from my face and on the bottom section I rolled underwards towards my face. On the back section I just alternated the pin curls rolling some curls upwards and some curls underwards. Then slept on them and now it's time to take them out. Wow. Well, that's really curly. And these are what the curls looked like when I took them out. They turned out really bouncy and I know they're a bit crazy, but I think these would be lovely on a child if you didn't want to use heat. And They'd also be great if you were an Irish dancer, um, but I wouldn't wear these out so I just went ahead and ran my fingers through my hair just to loosen them up a bit and make them more wearable. This is what they look like after running my fingers through them. I think they're much nicer and I would definitely wear these um, out. I think they'd be lovely with a nice headband or a hair bump as I'm showing you there. So I think they turned out amazing and I really love them. But I was curious to see what they looked like brushed out so I went ahead and just brushed the ends into the palms of my hands. And this then made the curls really fluffy and I actually love how they turned out. It kind of reminds me of like Hollywood glamour or um, Charlie's Angels hair, I don't know why. I think of Charlie's Angels but anyway yeah I love them. So for my second method I used pipe cleaners and you can get these at your local DIY store or your pound shop. So I just went ahead and dampened my hair and I just crisscrossed some pins on my pipe cleaner. Then you just want to twist your hair around the pipe cleaner the whole way down. When you get to the end, if you have longer hair like I do, I ran out of room on my pipe cleaner. So I just continued to wrap the hair round and around the bottom and then I just turned the pipe cleaner up and I pinned it in place. I'll show you once more. Again, you just want to secure your pipe cleaner to your head and then you just want to take a section of hair. If you take bigger sections, they should give you looser curls and smaller sections will give you really tight curls. And you just want to just wrap it around your pipe cleaner until you get to the end. So when I got to the end, again I ran out of room so I just continued to wrap the hair around the pipe cleaner and then I just bent the bottom of the pipe cleaner up and pinned it in place. These can take a bit of time to put in but if you're looking for big crazy curls they're definitely the way to go back and ready to take them out. So you just want to unbend the bottom of the pipe cleaner and then 
gently untwist the ends of the hair and you want to be really, really careful when you're untwisting the ends because small strands of the hair can get stuck in the pipe cleaner and this can take ages to unravel so I'm just taking my time And this is what the pipe cleaners turned out like. They're definitely a bit crazy and I'm just going to give you a close up on the curls. They're so tight. So I'm just going to go ahead and separate them using my fingers. And then after that I began curling small sections of the hair around my fingers to give them a bigger curl. And this is what they looked like after I curled individual sections. They're crazy and they just make me want to shake my head lots. And if you're looking for volume and big curls, these are definitely the way to go. The last two methods are much quicker. The first is sock curls. So you just want to start off again with a sock and you just want to dampen your hair. And again, we're just going to wrap the hair around the sock and just roll it up and tie it in a knot. Simple as that. So I just went ahead and I think I did five sock curls around my head. So I slept on them and they were so easy to sleep on and then you just want to unroll them the next day and shake them out. So this is what they look like straight out of the socks and I thought they'd be a bit looser and mine turned out quite tight so I just went ahead and shook my hair out just to loosen them up. And flip them back over and this is what they look like. I know they look a bit mad but they did fall out throughout the day and they turned out lovely. And my final method of heatless curls is scarf curls or headband curls. They're pretty much the same. So I just got a scarf and tied a knot in the back of my head. And I use the scarf because it's easy to take out. You can just slide it out when the curls are done. So I just started off by damping a strand of hair. And then you just want to lift it up over the headband. And with your other hand, you want to just pull this through the headband. And there we have our first curl. So now you want to just add a small section to our original strand. And again, I'm just going to put my hands up under the scarf and pull the curl through. So you just want to continue adding strands of hair to your original strand. Just bringing it up over the scarf and pulling the curl through. And when you've added all the hair to this one strand, you should just be left with one strand hanging on one side. Now we're going to repeat this on the opposite side. Take a strand of hair and just continue to add hair to it and bring it up over the headband and under. And now we should be left with two strands on either side of the knot and you just want to join these and then wrap them up and over the headband until the ends are tucked in. So I think I just had to wrap it twice and then I just pinned it in place to secure it. And this is what the headband looks like when you've got it all wrapped. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and sleep and I'll see you guys tomorrow. And here is my lovely bed head after a good night's sleep. So you just want to go to the back and take out the clips from yesterday and then untie the knot. And then I just held my curls on either side and pulled the scarf out. Then I just went ahead and shook my hair out to loosen up the curls and I also applied some anti-freeze serum to my hair just to tame the flyaways. There we have our curls. I think these curls are gorgeous and they're real natural looking. So there we have our four methods of heatless curls and I'd love to know which was your favourites. So don't forget to leave a comment down below. I think mine was the scarf curls and the pin curls. I really love them. And also if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And I'd love to see how your curls turned out. So don't forget to share your picture with me on Brides and Dyes 12 on Facebook or Instagram. Bye guys. Oh, oh.